Hey everybody, welcome back to Fusion Fall. We're standing on a windmill out in the middle of nowhere. Um, here, I'll, I'll look. I'll look this way so that's not passing in front of me. I hope everyone's doing well. We are back out here in the desert, or we never left. But I know Juniper Lee has missions for us. Um, ben has some missions for us as well. Uh, Philgax has one more mission. So, yeah, we're going to do Master Arsenal from Juniper Lee since we're here, and then we'll head over to Offworld Plaza to deal with Ben and Vilgax. So let's get going. Hello, Juniper. I've heard about Fuse's monsters leaving behind strange weapons, but no time for that now. The desert Clawdads in Area 51 just went berserk. I'll go get him then. And the desert Clawdad dropped its dorsal fin. It looks like a serrated saber. Can you bring it to me? All right. I don't know what that means, but I hope, I assume that you know what it is. Here you go, Juniper. Seems very strange that part of your enemy would look exactly like a saber with a serrated blade. I'll study this and see if I can make sense of it. So, have you been finding weapons when you defeat your enemies? I think I might know why this is occurring, and I know just the person who can help. I think I know why you keep finding weapons after defeating Fuse's monsters. Are you ready for a long journey? You must find Samurai Jack in the Darkland. Jesus Christ, Juniper Lee. Are you kidding me? Well, we have not been to the Darklands yet. I haven't even been off camera. So, this will be our opportunity to... I think I will need my Sneak Nano in order to get up on top of the Helicarrier. I don't know if... Some people have like played halfway through Fusion Fall and mostly played the beginning. Not that many people, from what I have heard, like from the playthroughs that I've seen, is like people didn't get that far, like didn't finish the game. I finished the game, <laughs> not to brag, but um, Darklands is not even on this map. You have to go all the way up here to Monkey Foothills, take like a warp, and then it's an entirely different map of its own. Um, but we'll see that when we get there. Hopefully, I'll make it to <laughs> Samurai Jack. In one piece. Alright, so I'm out in Forgotten Falls, which is uh, admittedly a, a cool looking place. It's cooler, like, down there there's a statue, there's like water going around it. Um, this is actually past, I believe we've been to the really twisted forest, we've been in that infected zone. Need to go up here. I assume if anyone's playing along they'd be confused. Not that we'd be playing along at the exact same time, but just for future reference if you're playing the game. If you look up on the top right, it says he's down this way. But if you look here, you'd be like, where though? Exactly. You have to go all the way up here, as I just said. Monkey Foothills, if you get, uh, there's a monkey in Monkey Foothills. So you can fly from Forgotten, or really Twisted Forest, over to Monkey Foothills, down to the beach. You'll see it. But this, um, this path is kind of hard to do, unless you have a jump nano, or a run nano, or a glide. Um, they do have eggs here and there, um, so you could use those if you're in a pinch, but they are not always reliable, because you can't... For me, I, I can never tell how long the egg is supposed to last. I don't know if it lasts a minute, if it lasts five. Definitely not five, but I feel like maybe two. I don't know. Anyways, you come through here. Um, being level 24, I think you should be okay just to run past all the enemies. What level are you? 27. So, oh look. There's Bear over there. She's leveling up too. Doing a bit of grinding. But you have to come... Oh! She's here too. She's everywhere. You have to come up here. Here's where the jump you know, comes in handy. So it's on this hill that everything is, but up here is where the monkeys are, so that way you don't have to climb across the Forgotten Falls every time. So that makes it easier. Um, if you're coming this way, you might as well get that. I'm going to actually get my 
Magus Nano, so we could sneak around a bit, because when you get to places where there's high-level enemies, they really like attacking you. And there she is again. She's taking a break. I'm just heading over to the Darklands, but I promise I'll be safe. She worries about me. So you come down here. I'm kind of over-explaining it, but... Because I've said it multiple times. But... So you come over here. There is this one over here. Oh yeah, that's another thing you could do if you find yourself being misled by that that arrow up there and you go all the way down to like Orchid Bay. There is the um, this thing. That, that warp leads to Orchid Bay into here. So you could use that. That's free. Um, I'm pretty certain that the game will crash. But this one goes to the Dark Lands. You talk to this person. It works like a regular warp. So here we are in the Darklands for the first time ever. So to get up to there, where Samurai Jack is, you have to go... It's kind of infuriating because it's so slow, and there's monsters, like, right there. Um, for my first playthrough on this server, it took me... Took me a while. Um, I really, I think I actually had to go back to Monkey Foothills, get my sneak nano, jump up here, because they're like right there and they will come and kill you without hesitation. But I, th I believe once you're up high enough, you get onto the next one, you're too far for them to hit you. So if you get your sneak nano, if even if it's like a group sneak, it should still work. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of annoying that you have to wake, not wake, wait for these platforms to come up and down. They're very, very slow. Especially when you're level 24 and everything is like level 28 or so. Anyways, we've we've almost made it. It's, it's to be determined if we will dash off the side and then have to start all over. I think I can put Magus away now. But yeah, here we are. This is Mandark's um, cruiser. I don't know what you would call it. Um, yeah, like helicarrier or whatever. So, let's see what he has to say. Do you end the mission for us? You have been touched by destiny. Legend speaks of a worry that will transform his foes into weapons. From these, he can forge a master weapon so powerful that none can withstand it. Uh, come see me after you talk to Juniper Lee. It's urgent. Alright. Oh, you also have Tetrax. Sorry. Not really spoilers, I guess, at this point. Tetrax is here. Other than that, it's just... Yeah, it's just a bunch of vendors. And there's a monkey. I might as well get that. Uh, there is a scamper here as well, so I don't have to do all that every time. So let's head back to Juniper Lee. Uh, back. I survived. How will we transform these strange weapons into a master weapon? With all of us studying the weapons you bring back, someone is bound to figure it out. So Samurai Jack knows of the master weapon. We need to figure out how to combine all the weapons into one. Okay, so now I believe... Go talk to Ben. And then Ben and Vilgax, I believe, have all the, all the rest of the missions for this episode tentatively. We'll see how long the episode gets. Hi, Ben. How are you? Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna do this one first. Some sawbreakers just went wild. They are covering up the spaceport. We could use a hand. I have two hands. So, so this infected zone has the reputation of being the single most aggravating, uh, challenging infected zones. And I would agree. You know, it's, it's pretty irritating to get around. But, you know, Sometimes you just gotta do it, and just kind of get in and get out would be my advice. It's just do it as quickly as you can, so that you can leave. My other piece of advice would be definitely have a glide nano, or a jump nano, or a run nano, or get all three if you're able. Those really help you get through here as easily as possible. Also, be careful when you're dashing. <laughs> As you've seen a few times. Most of the times I cut it out, because... 
I'm like not talking when I do it, but like dashing when you don't mean to. Really sucks. Oh, that Sawbreaker dropped the blade from his hand. Looks. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, what do you say now? It looks like some kind of throwing star. Let's see it. All right, Ben. Don't want to like say, "Oh, sorry, you died." Put you in a dangerous position. That's okay, Ben. All right. We'll study that sinuous throwing star. Thanks. Meanwhile, if you already have your Mandy Nano, you should go see Coco in the jungle. I don't have my Mandy Nano. I don't think. Jesus is definitely bizarre. I've never seen the monsters do this. I guess this might have something to do with the master weapon Jack told you about. Okay. I'm going to do Bet on Ben and History Plan Fusion. Hopefully I can do them both at the same time. This one's normal. What level are you? Normal. Okay. Bet on Ben, part one. I'm so glad you're here. Fuses and monsters are everywhere and my Omnitrix is still acting up. Can you help us protect the spaceport? And planet Anerfatos is home to monstrous aliens. It's possible that Fuse spared Anerfatos hundreds of years ago in exchange for its loyalty. That's not good. Alright, I'll, I'll pull. Bye, forearms. Feet six thuggards. Talk to Vilgax. I'll do that first since he's right here. Hey. Oh, you have one too. Why should I discuss Interfatos with the likes of you? Make it worth my while. Bring me alien DNA from some of the monsters here and maybe we'll talk. Okay. Oh, wait. Vilgax won't talk. I'm not surprised. Come and see me. Um. Oh, so that's it? You need a mission? Vilgax wants some alien DNA. Once you collect it, bring it to me, and I'll use the Omnitrix to render it inert. Vilgax will never know. Okay. DNA from Sawbreakers. Back to the spaceport. Thank you. Good work bringing it to me right away. Actually, no, Ben. I'm going to do this first. And done. Sweet. Now get five Clawbreakers. You... Bitch, why didn't you tell me that sooner? Okay. Hey, that was some good stuff, thanks. I've got a reward for you, so come on back. Alright, uh... Hey, nice work on those creeps. You brought you bought us some more time to work on these spaceships. With any luck, the spaceport will be ours again. Nicely done, I know we can get the spaceport up and running again. I wouldn't be so sure, Ben. Uh, what do you have to say to that? Take? Uh, good work, I can use this... Use the Omnitrix to make this DNA useless to Vilgax. He won't figure it out until he tries to use it. Then he says, take this inert DNA to Vilgax to see if he'll give us some information. Uh, very well. I'll tell you what I know. It's true that Fuse spared Interfatos hundreds of years ago, but those creatures are hardly a threat. If they appear on this planet, we'll be ready for them. I'm going to tell Grandpa Max what we just learned. Come on back. Okay, here we go. Thanks for your help with investigating my theory about Ghost Freak's homeworld. I hope Grandpa Max has a plan that will help us. Aha. Uh -huh. I wouldn't trust what Vilgax says. It would be disastrous if we had to fight the people of Anerfatos along with Fuse. Grandpa Max says he has an idea. Um, so, if you didn't watch Ben 10, Anerfatos, I guess, is the planet of Ghost Freaks, and Ghost Freaks are like ghosts. If you would look them up, they'd be. <laughs> I was a big Ben 10 fan back in the day. Uh, the spaceport is in trouble. Concentrated fusion matter is leaking everywhere and is growing into mini terrafusers. Can you help us? I need someone fast. I guess. Max says there's a plumber stationed at Ga Galaxy Gardens who has equipment. We need to detect any beings from Anerfatos entering, entering the atmosphere. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. Um, 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 I guess we'll do this one first. Uh, the concentrated fusion matter is growing into mini terrafusers. You already told me that. We need to collect three mini terrafusers before time runs out. Hey, it's Ben. It's all way over there. Joy. Hey, we did it. In less or in about a hundred seconds. Good work, two more to go. Now we have less time. So that's awesome. Alright, well that one's pretty easy to get to, I guess. It's just slow. I think as long as you keep a cool head and you have your glide nano with some potions. Maybe give him a gumball. Who knows? Um, seems to be helping me. Uh, only one more left. I know that. And here we go. Ooh, mini terrafusor, as it says at the top. You did it. Nice job, head on back to me. Uh, where's Plumber Nathan? Ew. Over there. Hey. 
That's a relief, but we're not si we're not safe yet. Concentrated fusion matter has leaked into the atmosphere. We need to fix that. Nice work out there. Stick around. I may need you for some important stuff soon. Um, Vilgex has the next part, it seems. So, give it to me. The air over the spaceport has been corrupted by atomized particles of concentrated fusion matter. Will you assist your plan? Will you, Vilgex? I think I will put off this mission for them until the next one. Just because I can only handle so much infected zones. <laughs> the Galaxy Gardens is much easier than the spaceport. But I'm just going to wait until next time. Unless, you know, I finish these out and I still have the lap time left. I'll do those. But I'm assuming that this will take up most of the episode. So I apologize. Enter the infected area, infected area and use the fusion condenser. I've sent the coordinates. Mandark says, why are you doing a mission for Vogax? He's an alien-like fuse. This is Mandark. Uh, Mandark, I don't discriminate, okay? I've done missions for... Uh... A monkey. I've done missions for... A dog. I've done missions for... An eggplant. I've done so many missions for so many people. And none of those times you had a problem, but now... Just because he's an alien. Just because he's an alien, you're going to discriminate. So, uh, Mandark. I don't appreciate it. Mandark, who's rarely right, happens to be right in this case. So now we got Monkey fighting with us, too. Uh, absorption point two. Vilgax says it's working. Now go to the next absorption point. Concentrated fusion matter landed when Vilgax got a fusion condenser, Mandark says. Uh, there's a lot of people talking, so I'm just going to. Now use the condenser on the second absorption point. I already did. Condensed fusion matter would only come from one with a fusion condenser. <gasps> now proceed to third and final absorption point. Y'all are talking so slow. Please, just pick it up a bit. Just a little, for me. Plus, have you seen Vilgax's octopus face? It's pretty gross. Okay, now that is just blatant discrimination. I think Vilgax has actions... For a, oh wait, has oh, has the means for a class action lawsuit. Use the fusion condenser again. Mojo Jojo says, I have seen this octopus, fa octopus face and I agree that his octopus face is rather yucky. Alright, let's not get let's not get into that because I mean Mojo Jojo and Mandark like Oh, fools, I have heard every word. I will deal with you later. Bring me condenser. Go ahead and give the fusion condenser to Vilgax. I'll handle Mandark and Mojo. Alright, here you go. Had you not assisted me, the consequences would have been dire, and I'll leave my presence. You have prevented a serious calamity. Those fools, Mandark and Mojo Jojo, will soon learn the true meaning of disaster, however. Uh, do you have something for me? Alright, I don't Ben. Oh, this isn't good. Mojo and Mandark and Gogax are headed for a showdown here in Offworld Plaza. Can you stop them? Hey, it's ben. Talk to Mandar. Okay. Hi. Mojo and Vilgax have been trying to steal my company's secrets. I will destroy them both. Off to Mojo Jojo. Hello. Curses, it is Mojo Jojo's secrets that are being stolen, not Mandark's, and this Vilgax is no, no better. I will crush them. Uh... Okay. I don't get why I have to go between all of them. Like, they were yelling at each other in the group chat. And then now I have to go talk to each of them individually. And now they're just even madder than they were earlier. So. Such is life, I guess. Hey. The fools! Their puny minds could never comprehend my secrets, or the power that secretly lies in this place. I will destroy them now. Guess I have to go in... into the spaceport again. Here we are. Ammunition Depot. What's in here, then? Nothing? Oh. Oh my god, you're so cute. Look how tiny you are. You're gonna have to fight these guys before this gets out of hand. Cool. Oh, this is the one? Okay. This is the one where you, like, fight them. <laughs> you just, just kind of, like, beat them up for being dumb. So. It's a very unique mission. Uh, 
Okay. Done. I'm sorry, don't hurt me. Take this sonic displacement chamber. Alright, so I missed it, but Ben said, good work, now you better go after Mojo. Alright. Kind of easier if you just kind of run away from me. Uh, I gave up. Here, take this sonic displacement ammunition and leave me alone. And Ben says, now you're going to go have to take on Bill Gax. I got a message for you. Who's the most formidable, I guess. The biggest. But yeah, if you just kind of run away. Especially with the dash, it makes it easier. This argument is pointless. You may have the sonic displacement carbine. Cool, you got the three parts to a sonic displacement gun. Better get out of there. I'm on my way. Look at this tiny guy. Or girl. I guess it's an it, because it's a robot. Anyways. Let's go. So, Ben says, hey, great work. Get back over here with those weapon parts. Hey. Well, that was pretty amazing. I hope Mojo and Mandark and Vilgas learned something. And I hope this will keep them out of our hair for a while. Let's hope so. Funny, each of those guys had part of the sonic displacement gun. Why can't they work together? Whatever. We can use this to get at the fusion that was behind the fusion matter attack. Alright, last part. The sonic displacement gun can be used to enter fusion Ben's hideout inside the spaceport. Are you ready for a real fight? Oh my god. Uh, I'm really sick of the spaceport at this point, and this is only one episode of doing it. I missed what he just said. You can use the sonic displacement gun to enter the portal. Fusion Ben tricked the villains into fighting each other. We need to stop him. What is we? Like, you always say we. We, 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 we. I have never once seen you fight something with me, Ben. Except in the original tutorial. You were there and you did fight something. With your bare fists, which I was confused about because you literally have an Omnitrix, so like, why would you ever... Why would you ever be like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna beat this bitch up with my fists and not use the Omnitrix. Most powerful weapon in the galaxy, you're just gonna beat things with your fists, just like this bitch. Look at this. Although I don't know that you would have the Omnitrix. Hey, you did it. Maybe you can come with me on my next mission. I don't think so, Ben. I think... I'll pass on that. Because, like, this is just too much. Ooh, that was really cool. You stopped Fusion Ben and the Fusion Matter Overflow at the spaceport. We should be able to get back to fixing the ships now. Alright, I think that will be it for this episode. Sorry, it kind of was just a one, uh, one mission thing. Although, I did do another one. Anyways, we have Fusion... Planet Fusion? Planet Fusion? Planet Fusion, yeah, in the background for the outro. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for watching. I hope everyone's doing well. And if you're not doing well right now, I hope you're doing well soon. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.